welcome back. Today I'm going to show you really quickly how I style my bangs. Some of you guys have asked for this video for a while, so I thought I would just do a quick tutorial to show you how it's done. So first step, when I get out of the shower, I don't leave my hair up in a towel for too long because otherwise if my bangs dry even just a little bit, they'll dry funny. They just won't lay right. I'll have to work with them longer and I don't have time for that. So pretty quickly after I get out of the shower, I will brush out my bangs. I'll pull all my hair back so that just my bangs are down and then I go on to the first step. First thing I do once I brushed out my bangs is get out my old school blow dryer. This thing is so old, I don't know where I got it. Just put it on high, on hot, and I will blow dry my bangs straight down. You can see I'm holding my blow dryer up above, blowing them straight down until they're completely dry. I have a little bit of a cowlick on one side, so I don't let them air dry. I make them go where I want them to go with the blow dryer. Once they're dry, I then move on to the flat iron. I have gone through so many flat irons trying to find the perfect one for my bangs and I really think I have found my perfect flat iron. This one is the Diamond by Irresistible Me and I like it one because it has ceramic plates but two because it's really small so I don't get any weird kinks in my bangs which has happened with thicker plates or bigger um, flat irons so this one personally is my favorite. Now because I have pretty heavy fringe I like to part my bangs and do it in two sections so I'll literally just take my little clippy do a part like this so I just have the small amount here clip these back and I have this on the lowest setting. I don't like to have super hot heat because it, again, can make your bangs kink or straighten funny. It just it doesn't work if it's too hot. So I keep it on the lowest setting. Then I just take my bangs like this between two fingers, go all the way to the root, and I go down with a little tiny itty bitty curl, but not too much because you don't want to bring the 80s bang curl back. That's not the look we're going for. But you don't want to do it too straight down so that you have your hairs kind of sticking out a little bit. They'll kind of start to poke out too much. So just a tiny bend following kind of the curve of your forehead. And I'll do the same on this side where I just kind of slightly bend it the shape of my face. Once I've flat ironed that section, I will take my clip out, pull down the top section, and then just take that hair and do the exact same thing. So I take my flat iron, pull it down with a tiny bit of a bend. Just a tiny bit. I can't stress that enough. Same thing, just a slight bend and then I move on to this side, slight bend, and voila. That's all I do to style my bangs. Most of the time I don't put a lot of product in my bangs because I don't like to wash my hair for a few days. So over the days, if you put too much product in, they can get kind of heavy and greasy. So day one, I don't generally have any product in my bangs. If they're too fluffy, I will, however, use just a tiny itty bitty bit of this Body Shop Coconut Oil Hair Shine. And it's just this really delicious smelling shine. Kind of just adds a little bit of um, separation so my bangs aren't too fluffy. Or you can add a little bit of dry shampoo. That can help give it a little bit of texture too. And I'll just kind of piece them out ever so slightly. But don't go crazy because your bangs, if they get super heavy or super greasy, you're going to have to wash them and start all over. And that, you guys, that is my bang styling tutorial routine. I hope that was helpful. I'd like to do more of these short, quick tip videos in the future. So let me know if there's any ideas or videos that you would like to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and come find me over in social media. I have all those places and links listed down below. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my monthly favorites and I have some good stuff, so let's just get started.